As you know, I'm Kainton the Genius, and today we are going to be continuing with tutorial 3 on our Azure Machine Learning tutorial for beginners. So this is the best way, I, mu I must tell you this, that using Azure Machine Learning is the easiest way to learn data science and machine learning. This is something I come to find out myself. I've done it several times and I can tell you, if you start with it, you can move from here to Python, you can move from here to other models. Uh, so start with Azure Machine Learning. I'm giving it to you step by step with no step skipped. Everything is so easy with Microsoft Azure. I think Microsoft has really done a good job. So if you are joining for the first time, hit the subscribe button and also please go back to take tutorial one and two. Now the step by step, I've also provided it in my website. So if you look at the description box, you'll see the link. So we have here in part two, we'll cover tutorial three and four maybe. So in part two, I'll teach you how to create your first experiment. The experiment is simply uh, the building, how to build uh, your model, uh, it's more, like, more like the work, uh, the, the work environment where you create a model, okay? I don't know why they gave it a name experiment, but that is the name that we have here. All right, so um, an experiment is simply something you are working on in Azure Machine Learning Studio. You already know how to get here. So this is where we are from tutorial two. We will be building an experiment for predicting the prices of vehicles. We are going to be using a data set that is a sample data set provided as part of the machine learning studio. Now we have sample data set, so we can actually learn everything we want to learn here uh, right inside uh, Microsoft Azure. Remember, you are not paying anything. We can learn everything. Even for one year, we can keep learning uh, without paying anything using the free, uh, the free here. All right. All right. So if you are joining, hit the subscribe button, like this video and share it around. If you have some persons that may like to join us, if you are starting now, go back to do part one and two. All right. So the first step we are going to take, you can see the steps here. They are step by step. We are going to click on experiments and that is where we are at this point. Under my experiment, we don't have any experiment because we are just starting a new. So the first thing we can do is to click on new. If you look at the lower left uh, hand corner, you see new, just click on it. And now there are a whole lot of templates uh, uh, you can use for building experiment. But let's start with the simplest one. Let's start with a blank experiment. Gradually, we are going to move to all of these, but let's start with a blank experiment so that you can see how it works. So I've clicked on blank experiment and you can see in my step-by-step -step here in my website, you also have everything laid out very, very clear. So the first thing we want to do is to go to the left-hand uh, panel. So there are a whole lot of things here. Don't worry, we are going to go through it together. If you actually come here to type uh, automobile, so it actually would filter out the panel, but I would like to say for you to actually find these uh, items yourself. So if you go to saved data set, you'll see samples. And at this point, you can see a number of data sets that have been saved here. <clears throat> for instance, if I just drag the first one, drop it here, uh, you can see it's very user-friendly environment. And if I right click on this place, and I can say visualize, it's simply going to display the data for me to see and even give me the, the details like the summary of the data of 32,561 32, rows, 15, 15 uh, columns. You can go to statistics. Okay, for now, you don't have this at uh, this point. So, but this is not the data set we are going to be working with. Again, I'll, so I'm going to delete it. If you also go down to transformation, so let me just show you what you can do with data. If you go to transformation, you can see filter. You can apply a filter to filter out certain columns. Uh, you can, okay, also use uh, the format conversion to convert formats. You have a CSV file from your file system. You want to import it here and convert from, uh, from to CSV. So you have input, you want to read data manually, you want to enter data manually. Don't worry, we are going to go through these things uh, step by step in time. So don't run ahead, don't go to be doing these things yourself. Let's just do it together. Because if you start running ahead to be checking everything and doing it, you are, get, you are going to get overwhelmed and that will discourage you from continuing. So let's do the first thing. Let's change the name of this experiment by clicking on this place and just let's call it experiment uh, 
Okay, let's just call it car price. Car price prediction. And give space in the names. Car price prediction. All right, so enter, fine. All right, so um, the next thing we want to do is to, I've changed the name there, step one. If you are doing the step-by-step, -step, this is step one. At the left-hand panel, you'll see number of items under experiment here. Now you can expand saved data sites, then click on samples and you see many of them. So if I go to save data site, you go to samples, before it's like this, drop down, and you are, we are going to drag the automobile price data. Let me shift this a bit. Automobile price data row. You can see this is step four. Just drag it onto the canvas here. All right, good. Now, as I mentioned, you can actually right click and go to data site visualize, or you can click on this place and also say visualize. So for this automobile data we are going to be analyzing, we will, it has 205 rows, so it's a pretty layer of data, uh, data set. Uh, it has 26 columns. If we, if we scroll all the way to the rightmost corner, we can see price. What is the price of a car based on certain factors? So if you want to buy a car, there are some factors you are going to consider. And how do you fix this price? based on all these factors. So that is the prediction. Given all these factors, what price do we want to fix this car? You can enter summary of this of the experiment here by yourself. You can enter the description. So I can just say predicting prices of cars, of maybe vehicles because they may be uh, SUVs, they may be trucks, maybe and buses. All right, so we are already did step five, how to visualize the data. And now scroll all the way to the far right, we are going to see price, I already did that. Okay, so now we have our data set in the, in the canvas. In machine learning, there is something called pre-processing. Some call it data preparation. So that's a way to kind of prepare your data or do some kind of data cleaning. This will include uh, filling missing data or removing missing data entirely, deleting erroneous records, converting strings to numeric values, etc. etc. So we are going to prepare the data set, and in this case, we are going to remove the columns called normalized losses. Because if you are predicting the, 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 the price of a car, this column actually is not important. So let's go to visualize this data set again. I can see the second column called normalized losses. I don't know what it's all about, but I don't think it has anything to do with the, the car price. So the prices of cars. So you can see if you click on each of the each of the uh, columns, it gives you a a, a histogram of uh, what that is all about. So it, it tells you the the frequency of 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 the of the values here of the values in that particular column. Okay, so it tells you the so give this details. I think this is really cool because you you just see it on the fly. So it does it does real cal uh, calculations in a very in few seconds in fraction of seconds and displays the output right there. So in this case, we'll first remove this column called normalized losses. So we are going to go to the left hand side and step one, we go to transformation, click on data manipulation and drag select column items with canvas below the automobile price. This item is used to select quick columns to include or exclude in the model. Let's do this. We are gonna go to this place, go to data transformation here, and we are going to click on manipulation here, and we are going to click on uh, select columns. So select columns to either uh, select columns in data site, right? Select columns. Okay, so select columns in data site. So I'm going to just click on select columns in data site. Okay, so this displays here. So we are going to now launch the columns selector. But before then, just connect, drag here and, and connect the two. Okay, so values required, that is fine. So what we are going to do next, we are going to click on select column, which is this, 
and then launch the column select all, which is this. So click on launch column select all. So it's going to ask which columns do you want to work with. Now the step says uh, which we are going to go to which rules. We want to create a rule to exclude columns. Sorry, this column. Which rule? Uh, let's see. So it actually should actually include. Okay, column names. Oh no! So just let me let's let's just make sure. So we have manipulation. Select columns to transform. It should be select columns to transform. No. So it should be. Uh, let me get it right. So it says. Uh, drag se select columns items. So I have this. Um, so it should be select columns in data set. Yeah, I should be right. Drag to connect the two and connect. Okay, click on select columns in data set and launch the column selector properties panel on the right side. Okay, launch it. I'm going to go to which rules. Okay. Then click on begin with, uh, with rules. Then on that begin with, click on all columns. Okay, fine. From the drop down, select excludes. We are going to exclude some columns, and the column name is going to be normalized losses, which is this. All right, so this is the only column we want to exclude. And we're going to click OK, which is this tick mark at this point. That is fine, we've done it correctly. Next, we will exclude records with missing data. Okay, so and that is also another item we are going to get from here. So let's follow the step drag the missing data item to the experiment. Now, the question is where is the missing data item? What you can do is to come here and type missing data, right? So you can see clean missing data under manipulation. You have clean missing data. So I'm going to just drag it and drop right here. All right. Connect it. OK, we connect. OK, good. All right. So in the properties section, we are going to click on remove entire row. So rows where we have missing data, we want to take out this record completely. Uh, okay, so we are going to say remove entire row. So from here, cleaning mode, we are going to remove entire row. That is fine. You can also put in description uh, in the models by double clicking. So if you double click, I, you put in description. We are going to do that as well. After a few seconds, if all goes well, then you will have your experiment as below. We are not done because in this step by step, I actually have mi missed out some of the things we, are, we need to do. So at this point, let's add a description. So just double click. Double click. So, uh, so I'm going to say remove, uh, normalize column. Okay, that's fine. And so you can see it has a description here. I'm going to double click and add remove missing data. Okay, and that is fine. All right, so we have everything is fine. Um, the next thing we want to do is to now run this experiment. Now, if you build an experiment, the thing is to perform it to run it. So we build the experiment. We are now going to run this experiment and see if everything goes perfectly OK. All right, so at this point, uh, we are going to just click on Run. So under, under this page here, you see Run. So just click on it, and it runs. And let's see if everything is successful. Uh, I take some time. Let's see remaining. Are running for nine seconds normally it takes less than 20 seconds perfect so here you can see the tick mark the green tick mark shows that everything is fine if it shows right uh, it means that there is a problem all right so at this point congrats you've actually done something called data preparation or pre-processing 
The next step is now to define the features and the classes. This we are going to do in tutorial 4. And I'd like to stop here because we want to keep it simple, short and clear. So remember subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed and also like this video. Leave me a comment if you have any challenges whatsoever following any of my lessons. So we see in tutorial 4.